Don't forget to hit the notification bell, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned. Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Now I know I said in the previous vlog that I was going to do that fitness reaction, but once again, I've pushed that one back a little bit and I decided I was going to elaborate on the previous one. So the previous one I ran through how I prepare for my week, knowing that I got X amount of classes, uh, X amount of activities and what have you. And I sort of broke down a, a vlog prior to that one. Well, I'm actually going to elaborate on all of them. I am going to do a 50 things you didn't know about me. Just so we can get to know each other a little bit better. I am definitely not looking like my usual self. I am very aware of this. And this is because I am about to meet up with my good friend Amanda, who I have not seen in a very long time. Amanda actually used to be my boss. Long story, funny story. Have a lot of time for her. But before we do that, it's wine time. Just left my dinner with Amanda. I'm currently at Eastland Shopping Center. How cool is this roof above me? It's like a garden. Have a look. You can hear Tina Turner in the background. Well, let's see if I get lost going to my car. It is the first time I've done anything of this variety, but why not set aside some time so you can get to know me a little better. Now, what I've done is I've got a whole bunch of questions. It's a 50 things about me tag that you can find online. And I'm just gonna go through the questions and answer them as I progress. First question, please tell us, where we, when were you born? <laughs> this is gonna give it away, my age. I was born in 1982. What's your full name and are you proud of it? Funny story because when I was doing my research on this tag, and I know I've already mentioned it in the intro, I was gonna do a different vlog that I had already started filming and working on to post on this when this one goes up. So I guess it's Friday when this goes up. However, when I was doing the research on this, I'd already jotted this down, but the question again, what's your full name and are you proud of it? My full name, and some, all of you mostly know me as Hayden, my full name is Glenn John Hayden Heitman. So my full name is Glenn John Hayden Heitman. And am I proud of my full name? Well, obviously no, because I changed my first name. I swapped things around and now I'm Hayden Glenn John. Same last name, obviously. Are you named after someone? If yes, then after whom? Yes, I am named after someone. My dad named me after some army captain corporal out of a movie <laughs> that he had been watching. Do I know the name of the movie? I do not. I'll have to do my research. I don't know what that was. Where are you from and are you proud of it? I am originally from Broken Hill. Broken Hill is a tiny, tiny little country town in very rural outback New South Wales. Broken Hill literally is surrounded by desert. Complete desert. Am I proud of it? I am not too fond of the town now. Am I proud of my upbringing when I was there? Yes, because it was quite a wholesome upbringing and we got to experience things as kids that unfortunately I don't see in today's society and that's just getting outdoors, getting on our bikes, not being surrounded by red tape and OH&S. My God, people, let it go. Do you love playing any sports or just watching it? Currently, my sport is aerobics. So I'm an instructor and yes, I love participating. In the past, when I was a kid, I was actually a hockey player, a field hockey player. I played competitively through my early to late teens and then into early to mid twenties. I was the goalkeeper and I was nominated Best and Ferris for quite a few years in a row. I've got a whole bunch of trophies. In previous vlogs, you would have seen them on my tall boy in my bedroom when I'm doing like laundry and stuff. Uh, which one is better, basketball or baseball? I'm not into either, sorry. Who is your favorite person in modern history? Hmm, I will have to get back to you on that one. I haven't actually thought about that. These are the first time I am seeing these questions. I, when I googled a uh, 50 question tag, it brought up a whole bunch of links. I didn't click on them because I wanted it to be a real reaction. I'll have to get back to that one. The next one, who is your favorite writer in modern history? 
I would have to say more recently, uh, I have been, there's a bunch. Um, Kim Falconer, she's Australian. You need to check out her series. Um, a Spell of Rosette was the first book in that series. Love, love, love. Uh, Kate Forsyth, Australian. Uh, oh, what is her name? Deborah Harkness. Uh, she did um, A Discovery of Witches, that trilogy, the All Souls trilogy, that's right, and it's now being made into a television show. So there's a bunch, but there's a few there for you. Who was your favourite musician from 20th century? There's a whole lot of them. I can't rattle them all off, but off the top of my head, Adele, who doesn't love Adele? Uh, and my cat's going to be annoying again. I say this in every vlog, don't I? Because she literally tries to attack everything that's out. I do hope this light stays as I get through these questions. Uh, yeah, my favorite musician from 20th century. I will go down the path of artist in terms of a singer. So, cause that could go both ways. It could be an instrumentalist. It could be both. It could be just a singer, but Gosh, who is? I like a lot of the trashy pop stuff just as much as I like some heavy metal. I like goth music. I like um, pop rock. Uh, okay, if I had to pick one when it comes to me creating when I'm feeling creative, Evanescence. Evanescence was there when I first discovered that I had artistic talent uh, and they have carried me through a lot of my phases. Which one do you prefer, Daft Punk or Gorillaz? Daft Punk, obviously, all the way. Do you love animals? If yes, then which one do you love the most? I think we all know the answer to this question. I do love animals. I am vegan. I have a lot of time for animals. And in terms of domestic animals, cats would have to be my favorite. Hell, I have one. Do you have children? I do not, and I do not want any. How many do you have? New. No. Are you married or single and why? What kind of a question is that? Why do you ask someone if they're single? <laughs> I am not married, but I am not single. My partner's name is Adam. You've all seen him in previous vlogs. If you are not married, when are you going to get married? God, they're just going in, aren't they? Uh, I don't plan on getting married. Well, it's early days for Adam and I. We're just under a year. <laughs> Let's not scare him off with that question. What is your favorite drink of all? This could go both ways. Is it alcoholic or non-alcoholic? My favorite drink is juice. I love fresh juice. Doesn't matter what it is, I will drink everything, except for banana, because I am allergic. There you go. Alcoholic, uh, wine, white wine. I'm one of those. Do you have favorite basketball player? Again with the basketball. This must be an American thing. I know no favorite basketball. I don't even know any basketball teams or basketball players. What is your greatest achievement in high school? My greatest achievement, I am an artist. Um, a lot of you would have seen some of my art hanging up on the walls. Uh, when I was in grade 12, our HSC, which is, I can't, I don't even know the equivalent these days, but it's your entry level into university. Higher school certificate was what it was called back then. I had art as one of my electives. And my greatest achievement would have to have been when my major piece was marked 99.9 .9 out of 100 and I only got marked down because a grade sevener accidentally dropped a stool when they shouldn't have been in the year 12's art room and it went through the back of my canvas. Long story short, even though I got marked down, my artwork was hung in the local gallery and the Sydney Art Gallery. Are you proud of your points in high school? Well, I'm proud, I can look back and reflect and be proud of what I overcame and what I achieved. Now, I was heavily bullied in high school because I was not a very athletic or thin kid. Even though I played hockey, that's the reason why I was a goalkeeper, because I was not very fast or agile. Do you want to have a business? I do have a business. This is my business. I've also ran previously, I am a qualified and registered nutritionist, so I have that business. I've also ran a successful group PT business, Training H in the past. What is your most favorite scene from movies? Gosh, I can't even narrow one down. But, uh, one that just sprung to mind. Uh, when Galadriel from The Hobbit 
faced off against the Nine, the Nazgul, in the, the Dark Tower. Do you love music? Which genre is your favourite? I answered that previously. I've got a wide array of favourites. They range from, I like some classical, I love trashy pop, I like pop rock, I love rock, metal. It goes all over the place. I do love music and I love being surrounded by music, which is why I'm a Group X instructor. Please tell me, which one is your favourite? Old school rap or today's new age rappers? That is one genre I do not like, so none. How tall are you? Have you dreamed ever of being taller? I am 5'8", five 5'8", five and yeah, of course, you know, every person wants to be a little bit taller, but as I've gotten older, I've accepted and moved on. What is your favourite number? And please tell us why. My favourite number is 6, and I don't know why, I just like that it's not quite halfway, it's a little bit over, and it's an even number. Have you ever been on any bridge? I think it's impossible in today's day and age for anyone to never have been on a bridge. So yes, I've been on many bridges. Do you have a fear of anything? If it's not secret, tell us what you fear the most. I do not like heights. If we can rewind back to my holiday vlog, Guru Style, where Billy and Adam and I went out on a treetop walk in Tasmania and where I made the comment of, I am not going out there with Billy for reasons. There you go. Where are you working right now? I am working for Active Monash. We have three aquatic and leisure centers here in Melbourne, Australia. My role is group programs coordinator. So I oversee a lot of our health club promotions and programs, including group fitness, timetabling, and all the bells and whistles. Where do you want to travel? I want to travel so many places, Machu Picchu, I want to go to South America, I want to go to Africa, Alaska, endless and endless and endless. Which ocean is your favourite and why? I can't say that I have a favourite ocean. Have you ever been in Europe? Yes, I have been in Europe. I have been to multiple places in Europe, uh, from France to Germany. I keep having to tap my phone because it wants to go to sleep because Siri hates me. Uh, France, Germany, England, uh, uh, Ireland, no sorry not Ireland, Scotland, wait was it, no it was the other way around, S Ireland not Scotland, that's right, uh, Switzerland, Holland, and Amsterdam. There may be others in there, I just can't remember. Do you love history? Did you have high grades in history classes? I do love history. I did not have high grades in history classes. Here in Australia, you can choose after grade nine, you can elect into history or not. After grade nine, I did not elect into history. Who is your favorite king in world's history? I actually don't have a favorite king. I have a favorite queen. Um, Eleanor of Aquitaine would have been my favorite because she achieved so much and she ruled over two countries, England and France. Which one do you prefer, George Washington or Thomas Jefferson? I don't know either, but I'll just say George Washington. Which one is your favorite, Barack Obama or George Bush? No brainer, Barack Obama. Do you believe that Trump will make America great again? <sighs> Moving on. Have you right to vote in the US elections? I am Australian, no. Which candidate was your favourite during the US presidential elections? Again, I am Australian. I did not follow the US elections. What do you think about the Russia's leader, Putin? I am not a fan. Not a fan at all. And that's because he is promoting segregation and he's not doing anything about it. We're in a modern world, people. We should be accepting of all kinds of life. How do you describe yourself? energetic, honest, to a point, kind of blunt, to a point, and very loyal. What are the three most powerful words that changed your life? How the heck would I know? Powerful words? Uh, team, being part of a team, motivation, and love. Who you admire the most? Mother or father? My mother. 
Do you have siblings? How many? Yes, I do have siblings. I have an older brother and a younger sister. However, we all had an elder brother who was from my father's first relationship who passed before we could. We were actually in the process of trying to meet him and he passed. How many books do you read during summer vacations? I don't read them specifically during that period. I read them all the time and I literally have my whole cupboard filled with books and one day I will show you that. So, so many. Not hundreds, that's a little bit of a dramatisation. How many books have you read in 2017? Okay, so this was written in 2017. Couldn't tell you. Maybe five or six. Are you a technology lover? I most certainly am. I am on YouTube. So yes, I am. What do you prefer, Windows or Mac? I actually own both. My computer, which you have seen in previous vlogs, is a Windows computer. It's an Alienware, it's a gaming system. I also have a Mac notebook that I do some of my editing on. Uh, which brand is your favorite, Apple or Samsung? Apple all the way, Apple phone. What operational systems user are you? iOS or Android? Didn't I just answer that with Apple or, or Samsung? Who is the most valuable person in the tech world, Steve Jobs or Bill Gates? I think they're both equally as valuable as each other. They both brought something different and something unique to the table. Who is your favourite male YouTuber? Gosh, but specifically male, I don't follow just the male YouTuber. I have people who are in a family or a couple or, you know, like for instance, um, Eight Passengers, uh, The Husband, uh, and a lot of the, the boys, in the sons. Uh, I've got Jamie and Nikki who are here in Australia. Uh, April and Davey, Americans. Uh, there's a bunch of them. Who is your favourite female YouTuber? Tati Westbrook. Uh, I don't actually wear makeup, she is a beauty guru. However, I do believe in a lot of the skincare stuff that she has spoken about. And I just find her very entertaining and she has very honest reviews on products. I also highly enjoy that she released her own product called Halo, Halo Beauty. Now I'm actually going to do a review on that a little bit later. I have been using Halo since it first launched and I've got a lot to say about it. All positive because I've had so many results and so many compliments since I've been using it. Can you remember the first time you laughed? Who can remember the first time they laughed? Come on. Can you remember the first time you felt angry? Again, people, no. Who was your favourite comedy movie actor? Okay, I just can't read apparently. Uh, actually, comedy's not a super favourite of mine. But if I had to pick someone, I'd say Rebel Wilson. Uh, she's pretty funny. Can I help you? Rude. Who is your favourite stand-up comedian and why? Don't watch stand-up comedian, sorry. Like stand-up comedy. Which Homelo movie is your favourite? Number three is my favourite. When was the last time you cried? It actually says, when was the light time you cried? <laughs> so the last time I cried? Actually would have to have been and I cried like a little bitch. When I was watching My Sister's Keeper with Cameron Diaz in it. It's pretty sad, it's pretty stuffed up. Do you know where will be your career in 10 years? Who knows that? I'm currently working my way up the ladder where I, can, where I am in my industry. So hopefully within the industry, but at a much higher position. Do you love your work and is this your dream work? My current job is not my dream job. I do love my work and what I do. What is your favorite moment from childhood? I guess it would be, you know, the memories of spending uh, extended family Christmases together. We used to have so many family events, uh, you know, birthdays and Christmas or holidays and camping and those sorts of things. They're memories that you cherish forever. Which is your favorite animal and why? Did I not just answer that before? Cats, big or small, I just love felines. Do you have pets, cat or dog? You know why, you know that. Do you love fishing? I am vegan. No, no, no. I do not love fishing. I have nothing against other people fishing, but I would not be partaking. Which is your favorite burger and why? There's a bunch of them. 
so many chains have come out with vegan options now that it's just endless. The list is endless. But if I would have to pick one, every single one at Lord of the Fries. And lastly, actually we're at the end already. Okay, we are. Which one do you prefer, Coke or Pepsi? I'm not a fan of either, but if I've had a rough night and had a little bit too much to drink, I would have to say Pepsi is my go-to. That brings us to the end of it, guys. We know the drill from this point onwards. If you haven't already, and I don't know why you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell down there, you will get notifications when I post a new video. I post twice a week, Monday and Friday. Drop me a like, drop me a comment. I do like to interact with you guys, so let me know what it is you want to see, and I will do my very best to cover that. I am going to be doing the fitness reaction coming up in soon. I better not even say that I'm going to be doing it soon, but it's on the cards, okay? It's on the cards. Stay tuned.